Hi guys. I just wanted to share some interesting things that I found um, and that could be backed up biblically um, of seven different ways we can praise God. There's lots of different ways to praise um, and they all are synonymous with the word praise but in the Hebrew language you can break it down to seven, seven different ways which I thought was really interesting and I have biblical references to give you as well. The first one is Toda. This is a sacrifice of praise, praising the Lord in spite of the fact that things in your world is upside down. Praising the Lord even if you don't feel like it. Um, even though you're going through many trials in your life, um, this is your sacrifice to God. And the reference for that, um, one of them is in Hebrews 13:15, which says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Um, in Jeremiah 33:11, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of bridegroom and the voice of bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts. For the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth forever, and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And one more, um, Psalms 57, 6, I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. The next one is Yada. This is the demonstration of our love and submission to the Lord by raising our hands by lifting our hands to the Lord in total submission and devotion to him um, a reference for that would be Lamentations 341 let us lift up our heart with our hands unto the Lord in the heaven Psalms 134 2 lift your hands in holiness and bless the Lord Psalms uh, 63 4 uh, thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift my hands in thy name. The next one is Baru. This means to bow, to be completely overwhelmed by his majesty and bow at his feet in submission and honor to the Lord. Um, a reference for that would be Ephesians 3, 13 and 14. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not by my tribulation for you, which is your glory. For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 14.11 For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue confess to God. Psalm 95, 6, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Uh, another one would be Shabbat, which means to shout, to praise the Lord in any given form of a shout. Lifting your voice, singing, praising God out loud um, for what he has done and what he's going to do. Um, a reference would be Psalm 98, 7 which be, let the sea and all its vastness roar with praise. Let the earth and all those living on it shout glory to the Lord. Ezra 3.11, and all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord. Isaiah 12.6, let all the people of Jerusalem shout his praise with joy, for great and mighty is the Holy One of Israel who lives among you. Another one would be Zamar, playing any instrument that glorifies the Lord. Psalms 150, hallelujah, yes, praise the Lord, praise him with the trumpets and with the lute and harp. I thought it said flute, but it says lute. Praise him with the drums and dancing, praise him with string instruments and horns, praise him with the cymbals, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. The next one is halah. This means to rave and boast in the wonderful, uh, in the wonders of the Lord and excitement through dance. Psalms 149.3 Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises uh, unto him with the uh, timbrel and harp. Second Samuel 6.16 
And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Micah, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord. Psalm 30, 11. Thou hast turned for me, for me my mourning into dancing, for thou put on my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. The next one is Talah. This is one of the best. It's a combination of singing, shouting, dancing, clapping, and rejoicing before the Lord. Psalms 47.1 Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Psalms 47.6 Sing praises to God. Sing praises, sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. I think it must, must be pretty important if he repeats himself there several times. Psalms 144.9, I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a, um, a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. Don't be ashamed to worship. Don't be afraid if you can't sing. If you, don't, if you can't carry a tune, God doesn't care about that. Praise God in whatever form the Holy Spirit brings to you upon your heart. Praises are gift to the Lord. So share these um, praises with a friend. Um, I really love um, the song by Carmen. Um, it's called Seven Ways to Praise, and you can find that um, song here on YouTube. Um, it's a wonderful song, and it just gets you so excited about what God started. It's like a little nap flying around about what God has done and if you get outside of yourself i don't care what's going on but if you can get outside of yourself and just start praising god praise him for the things that are going to happen that haven't even happened yet praise him for answering your prayers before they've even been answered he already knows what's going to happen he's already making those paths available to us before they even happen praise him for that before you know you're going to you're going to get outside of you i will get outside of me and we will start praising his name, and things will turn around, and we can get our eyes focused back on him, and our outlook will change. Our life can start changing because we are getting our focus back where it should be. Um, I just wanted to encourage you and um, to love on you and let you know that your God loves you, and he is jealous for you, and he wants you to praise only him. And he wants you to love only him. And he wants you to give him glory. And I invite you and I encourage you, try it. When something bad is happening, when you're having adversities in your life, when you don't know what to do, when you're working around the house and you're cleaning your house, do it unto the Lord. When you're at your job, do it unto the Lord. When you're driving in your car, do it unto the Lord. When you're shopping for the groceries or taking care of the kids or doing errands, do it unto the Lord. And he will change your outlook. So thank you for taking time to listen to me. Sorry, again, that little nap's coming around. I just want to thank you for taking time to listen to me. And I just want to give all glory and honor to God. Um, and if there would be any topics or subjects that you would like to hear about, um, let me know. I want to encourage you and lift you up and, um, you know, so you can have a personal relationship with God. Not just know about God, know about the good things that he can do, but I want you to have that personal relationship with him. So thanks for listening, and um, go and praise God. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.